But once again, all in all, it puts footballers' behaviour under the spotlight. In this modern era where players earn incredible sums and ticket prices continue to rise, our national game has become exposed to rising levels of criticism. Does football and its players need to take social responsibilities more seriously? Dominic Cotton investigates. Extravagant or bad behaviour tends to make for good headlines. It also gives us the impression that players are losing touch. So should the game and the stars it creates be doing more? I think the problem is with the footballers is that they are so distanced from the communities in which they grew up and develop, they've lost the sensitivity about what takes place here because of the huge amount of money they actually earn, because of where they actually live. And when they come and see us, it's like, it's like the missionaries coming back to see the natives and saying hello, shaking their hands, signing an autograph and going off. And I think they've got a bigger political and social responsibility. Your Game is one example of a community project that attempts to harness the power of football. Like many other schemes, it's backed by the country's biggest sports charity, the Football Foundation. It gives out £45 million a year thanks to funding from the FA, the Premier League and the government. I think the players themselves, given the opportunities, are prepared to spend time in their communities and they are powerful role models. Very powerful. As I say many times, what happens on the park on a Saturday happens in the playground on a Monday. And that is true, and I think the players have got to take that added responsibility as role models and icons in our society. Do you think the accusations that players don't do enough are fair accusations, or does it frustrate you? Maybe, but at the end of the day, everyone's different, you know. Um, like I said, obviously I was aware of it, and I, and I, wanted, to, I wanted to get involved, and the players that are here wanted to get involved, so um, you can only really talk for yourself, to be honest, but... Um, I don't want to turn around and say, you know, players, players don't do enough in that because I suppose you can only talk for yourself and for me, you know, it's, it's, it's good for me to get involved in this. Sometimes it's just like a chore, you know, you have to go there, say hi, sign a couple of autographs and go. But I think it's not just going there signing autographs, you've got to go there and actually talk to them. Talk to them and inspire them, tell them that this is what you need to do. We need to be doing more talking rather than just going there and signing autographs. You can't expect every player to do it because quite frankly not every player is cut out to do this kind of work. Every player is a player because they can play football, not necessarily because they can, they can handle some of the uh, quite complex and quite difficult issues that have to be dealt with in these types of environments. One thing all Premiership players do have though is money, a point which their unofficial industry magazine highlights. Icon's opulence has prompted one football radical to launch a publication with a very different agenda. I think when I saw that magazine Icon, which was aimed at selected footballers, then it was kind of, you know, if you drive the right car and you, you, you have the right clothes, then you should be one of these people. And I think that was for me the nadir of, of this kind of mindset. It's now a time to say to, to, to guys in football, you know, come on, you can, you've got a tremendous and wonderful power. The club might encourage them to go and do something with children or go to a hospital or go abroad and do something, but the the end point of it isn't really the activity in itself, it's more for increasing the, the market value of that player or whatever else, and I don't think that's necessarily right. When you hear about Carnu developing something in his country where he comes from, you hear about um, Patrick Vieira developing something in his country where he comes from, George Weir's gone back and become a politician in his country. I mean, that's social responsibility, that's somebody saying, look, I've got to this position in my life, now I can actually do something with my position. Well, I don't think footballers should be singled out from city bankers or from anybody, quite frankly, in the community. That's very much a personal, moral choice for people as to what they do with their income. Blackburn striker Jason Roberts can't be accused of ducking his responsibilities. Last week he launched a foundation aimed at improving the lives of children here and in his home country of Grenada. From my point of view, it's just trying to give something back. I, I always felt that um, growing up where I grew up, um, that a lot of the kids around around me, if they had the people I had around me, then they would have maybe been able to realise some of their dreams, whether it was football or, or something else. I think sometimes football players get too much of a bad press, and so when, when a guy takes uh, a big uh, workload like this will entail, uh, takes it on board and takes it on his own shoulders, and uh, I think it should be encouraged. People are people, and we all make mistakes. Um, but um, from the point of view that a kid looking up to a footballer, you know, you want to try as best you can to show him that you're a positive person and you're trying to, trying to do the right things. You forget how powerful football is sometimes. We're trying to get all Premiership footballers to back a campaign for nurses and actually do something really big and put money in their pocket and give up a day's wages. Well, that campaign ends tomorrow and the woman behind it has found a very receptive audience.
I knew nothing about football six months ago, and I, I, I had only read about footballers in newspapers, the stereotypes kind of, you know, that they buy expensive cars and wear flash jewellery and stuff. So many players have gone way beyond paying their cheque. I'm just on my way straight from West Ham. As I left, um, someone called Anton Ferdinand, he came up to me and he said, um, you know, I'm really behind this, you know, I've got family members who are nurses, I know what nurses are like and how difficult their lives are, you know, I think it's fantastic and I want to back it. So I'm meeting people who, you know, don't seem at all like the stereotypes. Work beyond the game is a big consideration these days. Commitment needs to be long term though, if critics are to be silenced. Young footballers run their lives in a particular way and they do have um, high wages and they do have things to spend that money on. In order to balance that, we believe, and I know the clubs believe, and I know a lot of the players believe, they have to do their bit on the other side to balance the equation. The kids out there, they need, they, need to sh they need role models. They need to know that there's people out there that care and it's amazing the, the, the influence you have. You know, you can change someone's life. Martin, as there's now more money in football than any time before, is the sport taking its social responsibility seriously? I think it is. I mean, you've seen some of those players there and you see how rewarding it is for them. And they give a little bit of themselves. They go out into the community. And it's amazing the response that you get. You know, I've been into schools and, and there's been difficult children who, you know, with learning difficulties. And when you speak to them, they hang on every word that you say. And I think players really don't realise the role models that they are. And uh, they really should be encouraged. It's difficult with lots of games to go out and to do the work that you need to do. But people are starting to do it. And, you know, I think more should do it as well. Is it frustrating, perhaps, when, you know, when you see players out there letting themselves and, I suppose, the sport down? Yeah, of course. You're always going to get people who, who let their individual sports down. But going back to what Martin said, I think a few years, 15, 20 years ago, when I first went to Arsenal, there was the, we used to go and see the kids in the hospital at Christmas time. And that was more or less all we did in the yeah. season. Mm. There's more things available now. Players are going out on a more regular basis. So things is, has moved on uh, and players are getting more involved. They are more aware of their social responsibility and, and quite rightly so. And I think it's only, it's only going to get better. Yeah, and it's not surprising, I suppose, Premier League are, of course, urging these new schemes ahead. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, generally, I think, as they said in the interview, you know, stereotypical, that's the problem. Mm. What do you think of when you think of Premier League football? You don't necessarily think and, and look at the, the video that we've just seen. But they, they do an awful lot of things that, that aren't necessarily mentioned. And because of the awareness, it is getting much better. All right.